there are many, many ways to come up with an idea. So most of the time we get a briefing, we have a problem, and we set up a team of different people, and we sit together and discuss. And it's the role of the creative director to give some directions or what they're looking for, to decide and define a space or direction. And then everybody start working. And then we sum up, put a pile of sketches, ideas, references, and then we, we start developing and make it bigger, more powerful, with reducing, cutting things out. That's, the idea is pure and beautiful. And now I'll talk a little bit about expectations you might have as a creative director. And I think that I, what I learned doing being an art director, creative director, for such a long time. So there are some things that are very important. There are a lot of young guys today aiming to be a creative director before they're ready to do it. And we have a lot of young creative directors that have no clue how to lead a company or lead a, a, a creative team. For the young creative directors from our agency, that all, over the time becomes uh, or get, got a motivation to change an agency and so on, the only tip I gave them is never work under someone who is not better than you. So never work under a 25-year-old creative director if you are better than him or if you feel that you're better than him. Because in six months time, one year, it's gonna be a crash. So this is something very good. I really like to work with someone that I admire, I can learn from, do something completely different from what I do, and I can learn more, I can expand. If you, your ceiling is not that high, you're going to get a depressed very soon. Yeah, it has changed a lot in the past, uh, in, the, in the last 10 years. Now we have uh, much of the, Brazil is a TV country. So TV has a reach of 98%, 99%. So everybody's watching TV, prime time, not only cable, but the open TV. So it's a huge audience. So Brazil is a major TV country. So a lot of commercials, a lot of TV commercials. We have a lot of print medias as well, but very segmented. We have one or two really big titles, but then we have a lot of very segmented. We've talked to segmented group. We've talked with this kind of uh, media. And you have the web, internet, with all the possibilities from social media, Facebooks, and all the things that you can develop on your own on the web. I think you have to relate to the product in a way that you are you are kind of an ambassador of the product, the brand. Sometimes people think that I'm really a bit stupid or romantic about, but I use products, all the products I advertise for. If I cannot use it, it's, it's not worth it. So you have to like it, you have to do it. Of course, dog food I won't have myself, but my dog gonna eat the, the dog food, the brand I'm pedigree or my car's a Volkswagen. I feel like I'm cheating someone. <laughs> He's paying me to advertise the product and I'm not buying it. So I'm a little bit romantic that time. So you have to believe in the product you are uh, advertising. But sometimes I, I know the product, you know all the products around. So you, you actually know it. So they, they, maybe there is one product I'm not using it. And so I, I go into it. So I have, an, uh, we just won a new seller for a company. So I have an old one, so I don't want to change. The first thing I'm going to change, but I have to test the product. If the product is not working, it's like, come on guys, it's not working. So you cannot talk about coverage if it's not covering anything. So you have to use it to understand it. You have to use it to be to discuss with the client in a, in a normal base. Otherwise, you're very distant. So you have to be in the middle of it. 